Hello, welcome to Chairman Tonjia. My name is Dr. Chan. Today I'm going to talk about this particular case related to seeing a person's career and using their parts to see their relationship and see whether this person is supposed to be good or bad in their career itself. So what's going to happen to this chart is this. Well, basically I've divided the chart into two different sections. One is the four pillars over here and the one, all the nine palaces, which is over here in the right itself. So to see a person's identity, what you need to do is we need to see the day stamp, which is represented by the symbol of Wu. This is Wu itself. So in this particular nine palace itself, the nine different boxes, we need to identify where is the Wu station over here. So which also means that this box one itself is representing who this is the person's main character. The person is locating in box number one. So having said that, we have uh, noticed that quite a few other things that which is quite interesting. There is an emptiness over here represented by a circle. There is also a Fu Ying chart. Okay, Fu Ying chart over here. What? Uh, let me type it down which is called a Fu Ying. Fu Ying chart is a person who is actually very, I will use the word uh, stubborn, a very stubborn person. That means he has his own way of thinking, but he's also a very focused person. That means when he do things, he likes to focus and apparently uh, where he's very focused and concentrated. Other people may feel that he is somebody can be very stubborn. So a fooling person usually is very, very stubborn. So having said that, we will not uh, go too much deeper into this particular character of this person, but we will look at the career opportunity for this person. So career, we will look at this particular symbol representing by this open. Okay, Open, we call it the open door. Open door meaning that this Box six itself represents the entire relationship of this person in as a box of career. That means all the opportunity in career itself, box six is telling us something. So we have a uh, nine, nine earth over here, which in Chinese we call the Jiu Di. So reference point is open door. So we have a doctor over here. So doctor and the nine earth itself, uh, both of them, uh, telling us something whereby he could be related to a uh, career related to this particular thing we call uh, education, culture, anything related to uh, something more civilized. So, but this night earth is telling us that the opportunity is limited or maybe the industry will be limited. So that means he, basing on his stubbornness, when he focus on something, a career, a job, he will always focus on that particular area and will not move to any other industry. So which also tell us the, uh, the career opportunity will be quite limited and limited in terms of the, num the jobs itself. But we also have to see that this is box number six. This is box number one. Himself is over here. The metal is over here, which is box six. The element itself, box six and box one itself. Box six is producing the him so technically, the job is always coming to him. There is limited job offer, but it's always coming to him. So he doesn't really have to work too hard to get a job. However, we also have to see his general character is that he's a rest, rest door. We got a black tortoise over here and we have a bandit. So technically, he's someone who is very chill, very relaxed. So in a way that Yes, a positive will be coming to him, but because of his character, he's a very chill person, and maybe he's a very fake person also because of the aspect of And Bandit, uh, meaning that he can do great things, but whether or not he wants to do, that's another story. So having said that, he also belongs to the this uh, stem of Wu, which stands for money. So which means that although he is uh, a very chill person, the opportunity provided to him in the career itself is going to come to him continuously. So having said that, 
it also means that this person, the money is also accumulating. He will have saving, he will have money in his life, make a good uh, situation in his career. So having said that, this is something whereby it is quite interesting for him. But we, on, on the contrary, we also have to see that this emptiness itself is telling us that he will have another character of box number nine itself. So in this case, rightfully, if there is no emptiness, we will focus on box number one. But because of this emptiness, sometimes he belongs to box one, sometimes he belongs to box nine, depending on which year itself. So if I were to base on the element itself, this is the red color, box number nine is red color, which stands for fire, this is stand for this uh, uh, matter. So he clashed with this job itself in certain years. So technically, there will be a variation in terms of this uh, job opportunity. So sometimes the jobs comes to him. Sometimes he clashed with his job itself. So what does it mean when the person actually clashed with the job? Okay, so we, we need to understand that uh, when the person is clashing with the job, the person is, tell, is telling us that this person is lazy and do not like to work in specific years. So we have to be very careful with that. That means, based on his character, certain years, he'll be very, very lazy. He don't like to work. Certain years, the job will come to him, but he'll still be having a very chill life. So in this case, uh, we can suspect that this person's career will be up and down, limited options. So certain years, he will be, he don't like the job itself. He do not enjoy the process of working for other people. So this is what we can decipher based on the chart itself. Because of his ability to be very focused and very stubborn, so he will continue to enjoy this kind of chill life and uh, do not want to work or to prefer not to work lifestyle. Okay, so this is the explanation based on this uh, example of the chart based for this person who was born in 1970, October 0 to 5. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Welcome to Chiman Dunjia. Hello, my name is Dr. Sean. I'm the Chiman teacher. Today, I'm going to share with you how to find a nobleman. What is a nobleman? That means something called the Gui Ren. So, a lot of people have this misconception that Gui Ren, uh, that means the nobleman, uh, is actually somebody who is very rich or very powerful. Actually, the definition under the context is this, is that somebody who may be giving you good advices or maybe pushing you to be better, that can also mean squidron or nobleman. So end of the day is this, do not assume that nobleman is somebody who is rich and powerful. It does not really mean that way. And at the same time, in a person's life, you can have a multiple of nobleman within your context of friends. So it's not just one person, it can be a lot of people that is surrounding you. So the thing is, Basing on the Chi Man Dun Jia chart for destiny reading, we are able to see where are your noblemen, and from there we can choose and select and spot who are the people that could be your noblemen in life, and maybe from there you'll be able to make more friends who are in this category. All right. So in this case itself, I will share with you a case study related to one of the chart of big person. And from there, uh, you will learn how to find a nobleman based on a Qiman Dun Jia chart. So allow me to share a chart with you. Okay, based on this chart over here, which you will see, I have divided them into two different sectors to tell us different sector information. And if in this case itself, we have to identify based on this chart, this is actually a Qiman chart. Uh, Qiman Dun Jia chart is being plotted using an app itself. And from there, I actually divide them into two different pieces. And to identify where is the person, so we have to look at the day stamp, which is over here. This is a day stamp. All these are stamp itself. 
we call it the four pillars. So we need to find where is this particular symbol, which is called Ren. Ren. Okay. So in this case, the Ren itself, we need to identify where is the Ren. Ren one is over here, which is box eight. And then the Ren over here, which is box five. But under the context in terms of the understanding of this human rule is that anything that is box five, we automatically goes to box two. So in this case, box two itself is also the invisible run. That means we have to actually uh, copy the thing over here, which is a run. And it become an uh, invisible run over here. So which means that the character of this person is box two and box eight. So in this case, it's 1982, and this year is 2022. So we will take it that it's actually over 40 years old already. So after 40 years old, he will be in this location, box number eight. So during the year of uh, this, who is 40 years old and above, then we have to understand that we only need to take reference in box number eight as a form of uh, the reference point. So in this box number eight is actually the person himself. So in this case, where is the noble man? So a lot of people they will, uh, have this uh, conception is that Zifu, which is the leader, is actually a noble man. Technically, it's not wrong. It's because this is what a lot of people are being preached. But the thing is that sometimes as a Zifu, as a leader, he or she may not be able to produce you. So in this case, it's based basing on the element of five elements. Uh, so if he's able to produce you, fine. Or even the harmony will you, fine. But in this case itself, uh, because this is actually a uh, earth, this is Zifu, actually a matter. So the person himself is always producing the leader, the Zifu. So which means that he's always going after making an effort to look for the leader themselves. So in that case itself, that means the leader is actually not coming to him. He will make a lot of effort to get the nobleman to be with them. So it's actually not a really fantastic case in this aspect. So in the five element itself, because this person is an earth person, when I say earth person, that uh, means basing on the palace itself, but uh, not basing on the day stamp itself. Uh, I'm looking at the palace as a whole. So the person as a whole in palace itself is an earth person. So I'm looking for an element that is able to produce the person. To produce the persons, anything that is earth, we are looking at fire, fire itself. So in this box itself, all the boxes are, we are looking for fire palace. So fire palace over here. This is box number nine. So technically speaking, we should be looking at somebody who is within this category. That means anybody who belongs to the category of U and belongs to the category of E, then he or she will likely to be able to produce the person. Okay, so this is basing on a first level of understanding on finding who are the potential noblemen that is likely to help you. So, end of the day, we also have to see who are the people that will not help you. That means they clash with you. So, which means that based on earth concept, five elements, what are the elements that is going to clash with earth? So, we have a couple of them, which is the wood over here, box three and box four. So, in this case, we have kui and sing and ting and gung. These four different categories of people will actually clash with this person birth chart. So in this case, we have to be a bit more careful. That means people who are queen, sing, ting, and good will actually clash with the person and will not technically help this person based on our first level of understanding. Of course, be, be, having said that, we also have to see who and E, this group of people, they are actually pretty good in this aspect. And of course, because this person is a earth, we can look at Ren, we can look at Zi, we can look at Bing also. This three group of people, which is in harmony with this person. So end of the day, this Ren, Zi, 
and thing itself is also pretty good in this aspect. So which means that it's about, there's a four out of 10 different stamps itself. We are looking at probably around 40% of the people that is going to clash with him. And about 20% of the people is going to help him. So that means we have to be very selective on who you're going to be friend with, who you're going to be associated with. You see, so choosing your friends or choosing your partner, all this will actually help you very carefully in your life because it will make a lot of difference by selecting which people that you want to be with. Okay, so this is the first level of looking at this nobleman. So I hope you understand and learn a little bit more about Simon Dunxia. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Qimen Dunjia. Hello, my name is Dr. Shan. I'm the Qimen teacher. Thank you for watching this particular channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how to see the career prospect of a person using a Qimen Dunjia chart for destiny reading. So destiny reading is actually a very powerful tool in Qimen Dunjia that allows you to see the potential of the person in a life, whether is it career, business, direct wealth, indirect wealth, health, relationship, and many, many other things that you can see from. So today we're going to cover this particular subtopic related to the career of a person to see whether it's in line with this person. So allow me to share a chat with you. Let me share a chat with you in this uh, session. So, based on this chart you are looking at, we are looking at this chart, which is a Chimen chart, being plotted where this person is born in 1974, October the 2nd. So, in order to find where is this person in terms of as a personality, that means this person, we, know, we need to know where is this person located within all the palaces itself. This, all these boxes itself, uh, this 492, Three, seven, eight, one, six. It's all we call it the palaces. So, in order to find the person, we need to actually highlight the the day stamp. This is the day stamp. So, the day stamp, whatever symbols that's over here, which is called the ping. This is ping. Everyone will be different. So, we need to understand that, based on the date of birth and the time of birth, we will plot and automatically this chart will be generated. And we will see this particular symbol, which is called the Bing. B I N G is pronounced as Bing. So we need to see where is the Bing in all the boxes over here. So in this box, we have Bing over here, which is box eight. And then we have another one, which is box six. So in this point of time, because this is a 2022, so basing on 1974, so the person is about somewhere around 47 years old or 48 years old, depending on whether the birthday is calculated exactly. So in this context, we should be looking at this person is currently in this location. Okay, this is being. So it's telling us about the character of this person, which is serpent, view, and doctor. But we are more interested today to understand the relationship of this person related to his career. So career is represented by one symbol, which is called open door, or in Chinese we call kaiman. So kaiman is over here, which is in box number nine. So box number nine is telling us the situation, overall situation of the career prospect of this person. So which means that we have a Tian Chong in pulse and we have a nine up. So Nine Earth is telling us that this person, he or she will have a limited uh, opportunity in this uh, career and jobs. Or it's telling us that the industry that he is going into will be actually quite limited. That means, it, example, if this person is in education, then he will be only focusing on education, nothing else. So that is where the Nine Earth is telling us basing on the information. Okay, so as a whole, we are looking at what is the 
entire relationship with this career towards the person. So we will have to implement the five element relationship, which is box number nine, which is over here. This is actually called the fire. Box number nine is called the fire. So in based on this uh, understanding of this uh, fire element, so we have the fire, which is in box number nine. And in box number eight itself, we have something called the earth. Okay, box number nine is, box number eight is actually the earth, G-A-R-T-H. So in this aspect, we need to see the relationship. Nine is the career, eight is the person himself. So in this context, we are looking at a fire producing and earth. So when we understand the fire element relationship, we know that these are the relationship because fire produce the earth. So technically speaking, the career is coming and helping this person who is in box number eight as a earth person. So in this context, we are, we are pretty happy to say that he will enjoy the whole process of working for people. And of course, with limited opportunity, that means he will have, but doesn't mean that he will have a lot. And he will not also be having a lot of great career. That means there is always a limitation based on this night of itself. So it also tells us that he should not be too rushed in terms of looking at more opportunity. So he needs to be more stable. He needs to be more... Uh, not so rushed in terms of decision making just to take a job, you see. So in this context of this example is very interestingly, he actually is suitable to be working for people. Of course, we must understand that in the life, not everybody is suitable to work for other people. Some people are destined to work for themselves. Some people, both of them, whether working for people or working for themselves, is also not the best way. So we have to be able to see the chart itself to see where is the potential of this person. For, so for in this case itself, this person working for people is actually a better choice. And I, in this case, he still can do a business. That means over here, a bit on the side track. Eh? So he still can do business, which is over here. It's not too bad, but that means he have to pursue the business rather than the business, the profit coming to him. So which is actually not a very great thing comparatively. But of course, it also depending on the environment, his desire, and what does he really love to do. You see, so from there, we are able to see a big picture of how a person's career will fare if this person would want to choose whether a career or working for themselves. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video under Chi Men Tun Jia. I will stop here.